All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. Nuxtaku has responded again. This is like the sixth response <laughs> at this point. Yeah, let, let, let's take a look at this um, video by Ref says Desu. It's apparently also a reaction at the same time. So we are essentially reacting to a reaction. <laughs> let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? Ref here. So today, this is going to be a bit of a React Andy video where we're going to look at Nux Taku's latest response to the Taiga situation. Oh, God. This is, I believe, what did he say now? Or sixth attempted apology regarding. Oh, this this can't be much now, worse than the last thing he said. Here, but I know a lot of you guys are interested in what's going on here and any updates regarding <sighs> this situation involving Taiga and by proxy Nux Taku's involvement with that. And today we have another Again, we are focusing a Nux, lot a on Nox. However, we are not seen. focusing enough about Marina, which is a bit scary in my opinion. Things, if you want the full breakdown of everything, you can look at my previous two videos. It's much more in-depth. But today we're just going to check out... I think this might also be kind of a little bit of revenge by Ref. You know, his get back for, you know, back when Nox made the video about Ref. I mean, I'm all for it. If somebody throws shit at you, you just throw you throw shit back. I'm an, I'm a great I'm a big advocate for that. So advocate for that. So let's go. Got the latest response, and to give you a very quick rundown of the timeline here before we start. Essentially, a couple years ago, a VTuber by the name of Taiga was facing a series of allegations. Shortly two years ago, that, right? Should be two years ago. Moist two Critical three years ago. Make a statement about Taiga, making defamatory remarks exactly. about him, and then he would leave a pinned comment saying. He will adjust which got unpinned after he edited it, it. Finds and then he had to repin an it that was currently uh, taking mm. place involving those allegations facing Taiga a few months after that Taiga was exonerated of all those claims by an independent, yeah, by an independent investigator, investigator. we know this that, we wouldn't hear from Nux for about a year and a half until he mentioned vaguely what we was know going this on we are aware of this we are some ordinary podcast channel and then recently there's a fly again why is it when i'm recording it's always a stupid fucking fly in here it is insane why is that bitch Twitch, even in here has been talking about everything the, been happening the him, windows are closed how did you get in here has been facing over the years so now we have this response right here you can see it actually has taiga in the thumbnail it says awful situation so a lot of people looked at this and said wow this is a dedicated taiga video <laughs> you notice that the first time Taiga is mentioned is 18 <laughs> minutes into the video, which a lot of people are. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> you make it 23 long minute long video, call it awful situation and mention Taiga in <laughs> 18 minutes. <laughs> what even the, you might as well stopped you could have just taken what you said at those 18 minutes and left out the rest and just uploaded that probably and it still would have been the same this is insane <laughs> no nox what are you doing come on ju just just fucking apologize it is not that difficult just say nox here i made a big mistake I called somebody wrongfully a PD PDF file. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I should have looked into the situation. Then maybe I'm going to offer some help eventually. And you would... Or maybe not even offer some help. Just apologize. Just take accountability that you called somebody else a PDF file. Who isn't? One. Like, it is not that difficult. What are you doing? Are critical of because in the past attempts and apology, people were. What critical are of the you fact doing? There was no standalone video, and that Nux was responding or talking. I'm like about gesturing Tyga and moving hands and throwing my hands around because it's so infuriating. It really is so not easy. Last episode where it was about Mala Max, and he talked about Taiga for about a minute, twenty minutes. It into is the video, that easy. Or in the recent kick streams where he was talking about Taiga. 30, what 40, is the reason as to why you refuse to do this topic however this time yes it is later in the video but at least it is relevant to what's going on so basically this video at least not let's is let's hear it the unfair treatment of let's hear it several examples and eventually let's hear it 
with Tyga. Now, I think it is relevant. There's definitely a lot of bad things going on with VTubers, especially how they're treated very unfairly by various platforms. But let's hear what Nux has to say. Yeah, there's this uh, whole Nux situation which is um, Twitch randomly uh, just bans VTubers for like sexual content, which they did not do. <laughs> was it was it falling shadow? I'm not I'm not sure, but some like lolly VTuber Tyga, got nuked off the platform recently for no reason. Finally, I would like to address the elephant in the room. I want to talk about the very wrongful term after 18 minutes. Bungo Tiger's YouTube channel and why I think spreading the word for him to get reinstated is very important. First, now after five five or six responses. Now it's wrongful. The last time you addressed it, it was not wrongful. You said, "Hey, he got banned. He got banned for sexual content." Not your problem. Not in that exact like words, but you get the idea. Interesting. We must talk backstory. In July 2020, <sighs> Tiger was accused of. <gasps> Grooming, pedophilia, abusing his mods, racism, transphobia, asking for the lewds of a 17-year-old when he was 19, and commissioning Shota Hentai, which is lolly porn of little anime boys, and being inappropriate with his community in regards to the Shota stuff. Now, this... So that is the accusations that Taiga was facing. This is before Nux spoke. That was what Taiga was facing. He exactly. Was later, yeah. to be exonerated of these claims, but yep. that's what was going on at the moment. This isn't a Bungo Tiger video. I'm just trying to set the stage so you understand basically the story here. But after these accusations dropped, Tiger left the internet for about five months, and I was. Again, I've talked about this in other videos. This is the frustrating part of Nux's responses. He continues to get very basic information wrong. Tiger did not leave the internet for five months after these allegations were made. They kept streaming. They kept making content. Exactly. It was yeah. A five yeah. month break that took place in 2024 when Tiger attempted his own life that was at the beginning of this year uh, yeah that five yeah month break has nothing to do it didn't happen sad back sad then. thing sad so situation it's very frustrating to see that still being claimed over and over again it's this is so annoying months, like four or five times at this point in recent times it was on a video with charlie where we were talking about corporate vtuber drama like the hollow life dramas and the niji dramas before the niji dramas really went nuclear and when he asked me about taiga i said I don't know the full story, but apparently he's a pedo. Not apparently. Apparently sounds like, yeah, maybe he is. You did not say apparently. That is not what you said. That he allegedly groomed the supposed victim that's that is not harassed, that is not the detail I want to add in there. What, what what he said like that, not, not even in the slightest the dms that were leaked were not of that sh and two months later taiga was exonerated of the grooming allegations by a private eye that he hired and i again this is like maybe the third or fourth time he's made that <sighs> he did not hire them the investigator was a private investigator and that private investigator originally thought that the claims were true until they looked into it and realized that this was all a lie false claim tiger did this not is wrong information the investigator the investigator was an independent investigator who saw this situation and went and this is when people in my comment section taught me Nux was taking accountability a little and this isn't taking full accountability as well because he gets all the information wrong at least most of it like not most of it but like a good portion of it to it thinking Tyga was guilty they were trying to amass a document that would show like, Tyga's guilt come on however after they looked through the evidence they realized this was wrong Tyga not only was not the the monster that they were portraying him as in these allegations, Taiga was actually the victim of this situation where the people making these allegations were not only being malicious and trying to lie, they were also doing it to specifically harm Taiga and his reputation. Yeah. They made a huge and let's not let's not forget. Let's not forget who. We again we are talking a lot about Nux here. 
But Marina, VT, greatly added to this. Nux only said, like, yeah, he's a pedophile. And then did nothing else. Marina actively went after Tiger, harassing him and calling him a pedophile. Remember However, that. This was the biggest mistake of my career, and I am deeply, deeply sorry for spreading misinformation and for causing any undue hate to be sent to Tyga's way. I am sorry for how I handled that. I'm sorry for how I said it. I have tried to do better since then, and I will continue to try to Barely. do better in the future. Anywho, I immediately apologized to Tyga privately, as well as cut that portion out of the video. I uh, added a pin comment explaining. Yeah, it. which so, got again, again, no, again, he made a pin comment. I think two months later, which at least he made that comment, he edited it, which unpins that. Now again, this might not be Nux's fault. He may not know this. I do not. I didn't know this. And I've been on YouTube very long. I've been on YouTube like I've made I've made content since I was like what, thirteen, fourteen, something like that. So I do understand if oh, you if do not know this. Intentional, but this is another mistake in the timeline. Like it is frustrating to believe that he still doesn't understand the timeline of events. He is showing this pin comment on the video as if this was made after Taiga was exonerated, but this was made before the exoneration was made. Yeah, and you can see the edits. The edits that happen to this don't refer to the investigation being over in fact you can see boldly it says there's a private investigator working on this so it was still active when he made this pin comment yeah and none of the edits would clarify that so if he's trying <sighs> to phrase this whole thing as he made the pin comment after the exoneration that is not true he did not make any changes to the pin comment after the exoneration was made in fact the next time we would hear about it was nearly a year and a half later in a stream, some right? Ordinary podcast episode, yeah, which I think some ordinary podcast and his stream. Mistake, I also apologized again from Kick, publicly on our podcast, which was uploaded of an episode, which, on YouTube. Way, got way more views than the video where I admit randomly I peddled the false allegation. Maybe not sub. So, again, he's made the same. Weird his model did something weird right now. Did he just roll his eyes? <laughs> Did Ref just roll his eyes? That's funny. Weird claim multiple times. He keeps saying over and over again, the Some Ordinary Podcast episode has more views than the original video where he collabed with Charlie and said those things about Tyga. It's not true. They have the exact same number of views. I showed this in my previous video. They are sitting within often a thousand views of each other. And also even... The core issue is that that was said somewhere in the middle of that podcast. Here's a hard pill to swallow. A lot of people do not fully watch that podcast. That's like my reactions. My reactions average around like three minutes. A lot of people do not watch fully watch the entire videos. If the podcast had more views, it still got 350,000 views. The original uh, video where he said these things about... Well, we, we also have to say that... That... Um, the original video sat around like for a while. The podcast is fairly new. The time there was even a pin comment added, it already had hundreds of thousands of views. Like the damage was done. So yeah. going back to this point for like the fourth or fifth time is frustrating to see. He's trying to downplay the effect of that original video. It it is your biggest L Nux. Don't try to downplay what happened here, but wise but relevancy wise the some ordinary podcast was my biggest platform i'll play the clip here because somehow people don't know this exists uh and i i re i think some people don't know this exists because it's buried not 10 but 20 minutes into a random episode yeah this is podcast and it's not about just not it you can see the title right down here it says mama max keeps making things worse We're yeah talking largely about mama max and some pal world drama and stuff like that there was a tangent 20 minutes in. Where they I already have a core issue with that um, response. Like, it is a response. He talks about this. That is good. That in itself is good. However, and that is important to notice, why did you not put the Tiger statement just at the beginning? Where it most matters. 
for talking about false I, allegations. I don't understand Gordon it. Knox would bring up his mistake with false allegations, and here's what he's playing in his version of the clip. Read it because he, he, you know, I don't know if it's true. He ended up coming right. back with some sort of response. I don't know this guy Bungo Taiga, and yeah. I, I apologized to him privately that that I even alleged something yeah, like pri that. private and apologies like, are useless. Told me, Again, I believed him. Every time this topic came up, I apologized, be it in streams or videos, as I really do try to take accountability when I screw up. Two years later, in the present day, it seems like the public narrative is I never apologized publicly. This is anyone who's trying to. No, 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 no. It's not that you didn't apologize. It's not. It's that you didn't apologize properly, which this is a lot closer now. It is at least somewhat closer to what people actually wanted from you. To push that narrative is wrong. I think, though, the majority of people talking about this in Taiga in particular <sighs> has made it clear you did attempt to apologize. It just wasn't done in a way that felt like it was any real accountability. You're burying it deep into a video that happened a year. It didn't feel genuine, is what Ref is trying to say. It didn't feel genuine. It didn't feel like you were actually sorry. Year and a half after the whole situation occurred, and on top of that, there's no edits to the pin comment. It only had you know a hundred or so likes on that pin comment. It just didn't feel like yeah, because it probably did in get on a significant way. Which what again, I, I don't think Knox knew. Uh, did have influence. Like I give him Nox the benefit of the doubt that he probably didn't well, knew that editing. His comment a comment a to harass Taiga and also um, people in the VTubing scene unpins it. Not want to associate with Taiga. It was a pretty damaging thing to say, and yeah, it's carried true for a long time. But you did attempt to apologize, but that's not what people are angry about. It's untrue. It also is that I refuse to talk about this, and I'm sweeping it under the rug. This is also untrue. But uh, I, t to be fair, uh, you talked about it a year and a half kinda, after the exoneration came kinda. out, and then you started recently talking about it. I think that's kind of true, because though. Because Tyga was raising it once again, which, after they were which is the problem from YouTube. And Twitter, Tyga has he been kind of did. very upset, and I've even seen instances of things that Nux has shown that uh, Tyga said that I think were uh, over the top in terms of maybe not the best thing to say on Twitter before they were suspended about Nux and some other people involved. But I understand why Tyga is so upset. But on top of that, you definitely did respond recently because there's been a lot of noise yep. about your role in there Tyga's has been career, right? I, I think. Again, his role isn't as significant. He might have been the catalyst for this. But Marina VT, again, I'm, I'm um, saying it again. Marina VT is a major driving force in this. I think that's the reason. Let's not kid ourselves. I think it's not... You didn't just choose a week ago to start talking about this again for the first time in months. Uh, it's because of all the noise recently and people also making videos about it and so on. Also, in the wake of Taiga getting banned, people on YouTube seem to be blaming me for his... Un so, I want to look at this right here. So, this is a video I watched by royalties here. I thought uh, it was... Again, just to say it again, he is not majorly responsible for this. Again, I think he was a kind of a catalyst for this. But he is not majorly at fault. The one who is to blame is the stalker at Marina. It's a very good video going over the situation where yeah, this was a good video. The person making this video went into it believing the allegations against Taiga, but after doing their research, much like the independent investigator. They changed their mind and realized that Tiger <sighs> was innocent of these claims. And I watched the video. I think in that, I don't think he directly blames Nux. He just says, no. like I have, no. that he did his not. comments played a role he did in not the harassment He did not blame Nux, it, it just that he plays a role. out and harassed Tyga and created a lot of negativity towards Tyga that has continued towards this, to this day. And on top of that, this video in particular focused a lot more on the stalkers and the people trying to mass report than Nux. That's just my view of that video, but anyways, let's continue. In the wake of Taiga getting banned, people on YouTube seem to be blaming me for his unjust ban, which is wildly untrue as well. I, I think, again, I've prepared that video on Marina. 
I don't know if I've already uploaded it at this point or not. Time will tell. If I get to edit it in time. Again, it is important to notice. Again, it is really important to note this. Nox is not majorly responsible for this. Again, I need to say this again. He's just the catalyst for this. And I kind of find it dangerous that we're now putting all of this on Nox when it's also the Stalker and Marina. I think Taiga believes his channel was banned due to being mass reported by people harassing him. And I think that he thinks most of that harassment is coming from me. I very much don't believe either no. of those two things are the case. First of all, I don't think that after two not, years not in a, in like, like a great sense. Taiga, which I f***ed up, and I admit I f***ed up, and I am sorry for the... Plus the retraction of that statement, and the apologies that I've made. I don't think it's my audience harassing <sighs> Taiga right now. Okay, so again, we can argue about whether there was an actual real retraction. I mean, he took down the portion of the video, he used the edit tool on YouTube to get rid of it, after some time but the thing is there's still re-uploads of it everywhere yeah right and you can't take back what people heard so people heard two years ago through your video that taiga was a predator and the problem is because nux is so big the problem is people heard two years ago that taiga is a predator now some of them do not watch this taiga drama so when they heard that from you, and remember, people are a lot more parasocial than they used to be, um, then they will believe you. And they will believe you and do until you, somebody else says otherwise. But if they never come across somebody who sa tells them otherwise... We are in we are in trouble. <laughs> and we are in great trouble. And a lot of those people who heard it. They don't go investigating it themselves. They just exactly. trust your word, and now they just have this narrative in their head that whatever was being alleged is true, and they've never adjusted themselves. And I think this narrative going out of Taiga being these things that he was uh, accused of was something that festered and it continued and expanded and it became settled. People just believed it. So I think. Yes, you yeah. played a role in it, even though it was a, as you say, like a passing mention. It was still a very critical part of this whole situation. The Nux catalyst for this. solely responsible for everything, but he played a role. And that's what people like me are trying to say. And he has to recognize that what he said caused harm to Taiga's reputation in a pretty significant way that continues to this day. And second of all, I spoke to people at YouTube about bans due to mass reporting specifically. They told me direct mass reporting channels does not get them banned under any circumstances. It may put them under a microscope to be reviewed by YouTube reviewers, and then for YouTube reviewers to decide about whether the channel should be banned or not for whatever reason, but the mass reporting... So the mass reporting does actually result in a ban if people actually look at it so this could cause the ban Does okay incite the ban there so i i kind of tend to agree with what nox is saying here i don't think people just get banned flat out when they're mass reported everyone in this video right now talking has been mass reported me nox and a lot of the other parties okay and any big youtuber no matter what probably you're talking about even family friendly channels have dedicated hate groups trying to mass report them that's not nothing new but in this case i think creating this narrative that taiga is a predator based on false allegations and, and may have resulted there, in the ban leads to harassment leads to people wanting to mass report taiga and that brings attention to taiga's channel where then they are unfairly treated because they are a vtuber this whole video is talking about how youtube is very very draconian when it comes to applying their rules against vtubers specifically twitch as well they have any twitch does that as we well talks about this with other channels who have looter content and get suspended in cases where other channels don't and in this case with taiga the mass reporting is effective if it also it is then very hypocritical by youtube to ban taiga for loot content but letting clippers still exist 
letting again content creators like what is it cinder uh cotton tail project melody it, it they should be banned as well but in this case <laughs> because it's like logically i don't want them to get banned but logically that would be the, the step to do so like so i think it is still relevant if there's mass reporting going on. It's not the sole reason, but with yeah, yeah, because because it because, it, because it gives it brings attention to the channel, and if YouTube doesn't like the loot content, they're gonna nuke you. To people looking at it and then treating him unfairly as a result. There are a lot more cases of a lot more prominent and hated content creators that are still on YouTube, and quite frankly. Maybe shouldn't be. So I saw some sussy wussy clips of Taiga floating around, which is why I personally believe that it probably was a termination due to sexual content. Especially because it lines very, very well up with all these other VTubers that are literally getting ass blasted by YouTube yeah, for you. sexual content. Like Shy Lily's clip channel. Do you know that a lot True. of debuts for... So I want to correct that really quickly. So I, I talked about the Shy Lily clip channel Pierre multiple times in videos over the past couple of weeks. He frames this in the incorrect way, but based on the context, it's still relevant to what he's trying to say. He's saying that Pierre and that Shy Lily clip channel was taken down, uh, banned on YouTube for sexual content, when that was not the case. It was nothing to do with sexual content. It was everything to do with impersonation. They were banned specifically for the reason of impersonation. And yes, so YouTube thought they were Shy Lily? Lewd content and VTubers okay. in here, but it is relevant to how vtuber clip channels are also treated yeah they're unfairly. getting nuked as well like i said a couple times recently by youtube where at the minimum a lot of clip channels face issues with the uh term reuse content being applied to their channel which demonetizes them entirely they can't make any revenue because they say this content doesn't belong to you you can't redistribute but in many cases they have the permission of the vtubers and the vtubers want them to make ad revenue and also in the <sighs> maximum here we're seeing channels getting banned for impersonation because YouTube is thinking that they're trying to impersonate the VTuber they're sharing clips of. And in this case, yeah, it took yeah. multiple weeks of not only this uh, this clip channel going viral, begging for YouTube's assistance, but also Shy Lily made multiple viral tweets over this course yep. saying- I saw, I, I, saw I saw a few, I saw a few. Literally having to go viral for three weeks straight, the channel was restored, but it was over impersonation, not sexual content. but. In the grand scheme of VTubers, yes, th there's multiple reasons VTubers mm. are being treated unfairly and multiple VTuber Currently, yeah. accounts on YouTube. Hololive and Niji Sanji end up getting their accounts locked for sexual content. In the VTuber agency Mythos, uh, Apollo and Hades, two content creators there, each got sexual content community guideline strikes on their channels for both reasons, doing content that does already exist on YouTube, yet theirs got the strikes. Unfortunately, I think YouTube is very much dialing up its awful banning policies across the board, and I think VTubers are heavily caught in this crossfire. So that was really the overall point of his video. He's going back okay. now, and that point is not false. But I think yep, when that, it comes that's to true. the portion yep. about Taiga, a lot of people are going to be critical about the placement of it in the video, that this was an attempt to basically include it in a relevant topic, but push it back in the video. So... As you can see, a lot of he the could, comments he should have just put it. YouTube censorship and not I think it's not that Taiga. horrible, but, but again, I think that he should have put it in. This is the most direct response and at the Taiga beginning situation we've seen from Nux, and there's a lot more yep. uh, accountability and, and denouncement True. of his former statements. Yes, a little more exactly. Clear, but again, there's a lot of minor details that are wrong, and it's like the the basic facts of what's going on, and it's frustrating to see all these years later and multiple attempts recently, and he's still harping on certain points that are just completely untrue and like very easily disprovable but at the end of the day you can probably see in like the thumbnail it says the end question mark because really th this is going to have no real end uh, i don't know if nux is going to talk about this more but the real kind of determiner of whether this is over or not i guess would be taiga you know i can feel whatever i want to feel this is really between nux and taiga and i'm the one just kind of reporting on things to help give some clarity to people exactly. who are interested yep. in this situation but whether taiga accepts this i, I don't know <sighs> but eventually it's really up for them to decide and this is the latest update taiga needs this to is, decide again, it's the, it's, the it's his decision so to do and to, to forgive him or not anymore. 
because we're kind of beating that a dead is horse, true. but I wanted to give some updates because this was a significant response from Nux in regards to this situation. So that's going to do it for this video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please uh, feel yes, free I to share did. your thoughts about today's topic. So I expected this response to be worse, like literally just deflecting everything. He did kind of deflect it a little. He got a few things wrong, like minor details, nothing too crazy. But it is a step in a, in the right direction. And I feel like that this is the best we will get, in my opinion. And it does a much better job than a pinned edited comment, who is not up to, like, to date. Uh, some responses in like at the end of a um, podcast or in the middle of a stream it is better and I think yeah I think we should now direct our efforts at Marina in my opinion and at obviously at the stalker but primarily at Marina I was going around banning people blocking people for calling her out on her disgusting behavior. But then again, we'll just see. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.